At one point or another, we've all experienced a power blackout. Sometimes it happens during a storm and you can see it coming, but other times they hit seemingly at random. It can leave you feeling a little helpless as the food in your freezer begins to thaw and you're not sure when you can charge your phone next. Today I'm going to walk through one solution that can save you a whole lot of trouble if a blackout hits your area, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X. It's a fast install whole home backup system. With 12 kilowatt output and a 200 amp smart panel, it powers every circuit, even a five ton AC, no soft starter required. Ready in seven days, it easily handles storms, blackouts, growing loads, and even your next home move. So let's get into it, and thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Blackouts aren't just an inconvenience. In a lot of situations, they can be dangerous too. In the summer and winter, AC and heating systems aren't just a luxury, they're life-saving in many climates. Not to mention, if a household is using life-sustaining medical equipment, having a backup power system is not an option. Then if you're like me and you drive an electric vehicle, you could find yourself stranded at home with no way to charge. This actually somewhat happened to me in January of this year when the Eaton fire in Los Angeles disrupted the power grid all over the county. I was luckily far enough away from the power zone, but my power company was being extra cautious at that time, so we had rolling blackouts for a couple of days. Luckily, I was able to pull my fridge out and power that from a backup battery that I had, but I was very limited on the amount of energy that I actually had to draw from here. I was also running extension cords all over the house, and then I had to go seek out superchargers in order to charge, and luckily those had power at the time. But if that area was out of power, I'm not quite sure what I would have done. Overall, I was pretty lucky in this situation, and I was already a decent amount better off than other people who don't have any sort of backup. But now with this new EcoFlow system, I have a much better setup. During LA's hot summers as well, it's common that increased use of AC units stresses the grid enough to cause brownouts. On particularly hot days, I've gotten used to my lights flickering and appliances not staying on consistently at times. But how common are these occurrences? Georgia Tech has been tracking blackouts across the U.S. for over a decade, which they define as events that affect at least 50,000 people for at least an hour. Between 2015 and 2020, blackouts across the U.S. nearly tripled. In 2020, there were over 120 of these events, and there is a shocking upward trend from here. According to the Department of Energy, that number could increase by 100 times in 2030 due to increases in demand and aging infrastructure. So what can you do to protect your home? The simplest solution is a built-in battery system that acts as an energy backup. There are plenty of battery systems out there, including ones from Tesla, but I'm extremely impressed with my system from EcoFlow. The Delta Pro Ultra X runs my entire house, and the installation was super quick. My install was completed in just five hours, which is unheard of compared to what a lot of people have to deal with. With the Tesla Powerwall, you're looking at two to three months. Generac can take over a month, and sometimes up to eight months in the worst situations. EcoFlow? It's ready in a week, and my own experience was basically same day. You order it like a normal product online, and it doesn't require roof work or a huge construction project. Plus, it's relocatable and expandable, unlike the competition. They have nationwide coverage with EcoFlow certified electricians and provide transparent pricing, which is particularly refreshing. That quick install I mentioned earlier, though, is enabled by its plug and play design. It's quick connect, expandable, and easily relocatable when moving. This enables that install of seven days, which saves 80% on time and cost. On top of that is their DIY options for solar panels. You can install panels in your yard to generate power and avoid costly rooftop installs. Now, this thing is very powerful. It has an output of 12 to 36 kilowatts and a capacity of 12 to 180 kilowatt hours. That means that it can run 100% of your household appliances, including a heat pump, five ton AC, EV charger, and more without a soft starter. For the capacity as well, the two batteries and single inverter I have stacked here are what start at 12 kilowatt hours, but each inverter is expandable to 60 kilowatt hours with the system capable of 180. It works with EcoFlow or third-party generators as well for unlimited backup paired with the EcoFlow Flowmaster Generator Rectifier via AC input. So there are tons of options here and you truly have triple protection, battery, generator, and EV charger, all in place in case of a disaster. It has two NEMA 520 outlets, one NEMA L1430 outlet, and one NEMA 1450 outlet as well. 
As for the build, this battery is safe and reliable. It uses industry-first EV-grade full-tab LFP cells with 25% lower resistance and less heat for a long life, certified to the highest standards. Then it has a dual battery management system with 100 plus 24 seven monitors with alerts and remote emergency support and three level safety that will protect power, connections and load isolation. Lastly, it's extreme weather ready with auto heating and cold for safe charging and protection in heat up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, along with an IP54 rating for covered areas. Now the new Smart Home Panel 3 is how I'm connected, and this supports 32 circuits with a 200 amp main panel backup. That means that I can monitor and control each circuit independently from the app. This is extremely useful to know how much energy I'm using, and then it helps me improve efficiency and cost savings. Comparing that to the Tesla Powerwall, there's actually no equivalent, and you'd need an extra product like a span panel. The Generac HSB is less intelligent, limited, and can't control circuits individually or monitor usage. Then compared to the previous smart home panel, DPUX supports higher current, which is better for a whole home backup. So this is my full setup. My main panel right here is feeding the smart home panel three. And here's that panel itself. If I open it up, we can see all of my main circuits and all of these are controllable through the app. So here's the EcoFlow app and there's a ton of information in this. If I tap right here, I can see my current usage for each individual circuit. And then by clicking into one of them, I get a report on my usage for that day, as well as the week, month, and year. Now, obviously this isn't too full for me yet for month and year because this system is new, but it will give me a ton of information throughout the year. It's also very cool because right here you can custom label it to whatever you want. There are different icons, and then of course you can call it whatever is necessary. For instance, this is actually more of my studio than it is my garage, so I'm just gonna change that right now. This gives me a great picture of how much energy I'm truly using and where, and then obviously sitting right at the top on a warm day like today is my AC, pulling 3.8 kilowatts at the moment. But if I start charging my EV right here, we'll see that quickly jump to the top. Let's go back to the EcoFlow app. Here's that EV charger pulling 9.52 kilowatts at the moment, but as you can see, it's truly giving me second by second updates on my energy usage. It's pretty amazing. Now, one more app feature to mention is StormGuard. They say if a severe weather event is predicted in your device's area within 12 hours, StormGuard will activate and you'll receive a notification on the phone. Ensure your device is connected to Wi-Fi and the grid to quickly charge it in preparation for a potential outage. So if I have this feature turned on, I know that this will automatically charge up in advance of a storm that might cause a blackout and I'll be totally set for battery backup. Now let's start the dryer. My dryer is fully electric, so once I start this, we'll definitely see that spike within the app. As you can see, it's pulling a little over five kilowatts at the moment. Then you can see all of this detailed information within the app. For me, I have a whole page about consumption, which we can see right here. Energy independence, which will give me a report on that. Grid, which shows me that detail, as well as any outages that have occurred. Details on the battery itself, how much has been charged and discharged. And then if I had solar, I'd get reports on solar generation, solar value, and predicted generation today. Comparing to the Tesla app here, this gives me far more control. In fact, most of these things are functions that the Tesla app does not even have. It would require you to install a secondary panel from another brand and use their separate app. But that's just the Smart Home Panel 3. Connected to that is the Smart Inlet Box, and that is what allows me to connect the Delta Pro Ultra X to my panel. It has three ports, each of which, of course, can be controlled from the app. Then here is the battery, the Delta Pro Ultra X. This unit is especially cool since it's so portable, but for now it's connected to my house and will back up everything in the case of a power outage or in case I just want to go off grid and run off of this. In the app, I can see a report on input and output specific to each port, charge percentage, estimated time till full charge, or until depleted when backing up and more. I can also set a backup reserve right here, and then I can choose between three different operating modes. AI mode creates the most cost-effective power schedule based on solar load, electricity rate, and system status. Self-powered will charge the battery using only surplus solar. If solar alone can't power your home, the battery will discharge. And then you can do scheduled tasks and get really specific here. 
I just click add right here and this allows me to choose particular times of day that I want to charge the battery, use the battery to power loads, or turn on the AC output. For myself, I'm going to use the battery to power loads, particularly when I'm at peak electricity rates. So all of that is great, but what happens in the case of a blackout? Well, let's simulate one. I'm just going to cut off the grid right here and it should momentarily switch over to that battery backup. As you can see, the power is back on, but it's not just limited power. My whole home is backed up and I can do everything I normally would thanks to the power of the Delta Pro Ultra X. Of course, lights are working, but phone chargers are working as well, as you can see right here. But here's my full TV and sound system streaming through my Apple TV, which also means that my Wi-Fi is being powered and the router's working. Everything is working completely normally. Then if I open my freezer and my fridge, are we all good here? Is the light on? Is it cooling? Yep, 100%. Now one kitchen appliance that draws a ton of power is the air fryer. So I'm going to turn this on and then we can see if it totally works and then what kind of power draw we're getting. The cool thing is in the app, I'll be able to see specifically the power for the kitchen and then separately I can look at the power draw overall coming from the battery. Right now I'm pulling 1.03 kilowatts. I'll go ahead and turn this on, start preheating it here and I'm preheating both sides. We can already see this output is getting up to about 2.76, 2.84 kilowatts for this specifically. It basically doubled the output of my house at this point right now. So I can see specifically the kitchen is running through my sub panel. So when I click sub panel in the app, I can see the exact kilowatts being used right now at 2.16 Obviously it's changing second to second in the app, but then I can go back here and look at the Delta Pro Ultra X specifically. And there I can see my output overall for the whole house, including the air fryer. And then if we go over to the unit itself, we can see the output read right there as well. At certain times you won't want to lose AC. And this is a five ton air conditioner that draws a lot of power, but of course this unit can handle it. So let's get it turned on. So the AC is running as normal with the grid entirely off, drawing a lot of output and the EcoFlow handles it with ease. Most importantly to me, this is my studio where I record music, drums, and of course all the videos for this channel. So it's great that this battery is totally powering everything I need here. This is the key light I use for the majority of my videos. It's powering tube condenser microphones over here. This is my TV that's usually connected to my computer so I can control things. And then my full setup for tech videos is working perfectly. So all this is great and working automatically, but this battery is by no means permanent to my house. For instance, in this shot that you're seeing of the unit itself, I did the incredibly quick process of detaching it from my home, restarting the unit, and plugging it into my video light to get this shot. Once I was done, I simply reversed the process and the battery was reconnected to my home. Obviously, this is a very simple example, but you can do all sorts of things like this. This is something exclusive to this product. Comparing to the Tesla Powerwall, I simply wouldn't be able to do this. When switching the backup, the great news is you don't have to do it yourself. It will auto switch to the battery within 20 milliseconds with the smart home panel or smart gateway. Then it manages those circuits, including prioritized appliances you preset in the app. When running off of a battery in a blackout, you might not need to run everything as normal. So you can customize this between your must have circuits that will always be backed up, nice to have circuits that will be backed up when the battery level is equal to or greater than your set percentage, and non-priority circuits which won't be backed up during a grid outage. Overall, this system is not just for backup, it's something you can actively manage and optimize. I use it to avoid peak electricity rates with SCE, charging up earlier in the day, then running my home from it from 4 to 9 p.m. when rates spike. It saves you real money. Comparing that to other systems, when we look at a Tesla Powerwall, that's about $31,500 and takes two to three months to deploy. It's not relocatable or expandable without another real install. For the Generac HSB, you're looking around $25,500 total, and that takes one plus months to install or up to eight months in disasters. Again, no relocation or expansion possible and ongoing maintenance is required there. So this EcoFlow system saves massively here. Long-term savings add up as well, with a three-year return on investment saving up to $6,000 a year. You save in three main ways. First, if you use solar, you can use up to 10 kilowatt PV to charge your batteries fast, covering daytime use while the Delta Pro Ultra X powers nights. 
AI time of use optimization mode optimizes charging and discharging by forecasting things to cut peak costs. Then smart circuit control with the Smart Home Panel 3 allows you to monitor everything and set timers to reduce standby waste. You can also expand the ecosystem with the CT sensor, which monitors surplus solar and stores excess in the batteries, cutting waste and grid feedback, along with the EcoFlow EV charger. This has three smart modes to reduce grid reliance, and it works with the Delta Pro Ultra X, the Smart Home Panel 3, and other third-party chargers. Comparing all of that ROI with Tesla, you get that return in about two-thirds of the time by focusing on consumption. Between the peace of mind, the flexibility, and the cost savings the Delta Pro Ultra X brings, along with the Smart Home Panel 3, it's a very smart investment that pays for itself quickly. To learn more about the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X home battery system, click the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.